Okay, I Can Help by Billy Swan. Uh, big hit, 1974. Uh, the song is played in the key of C major. And I have a C major chord. Standard tuning. The intro. A little bit unusual. That's an augmented chord. And um, the notes I'm playing are a G, a B, and a D sharp. This is the shape I'm holding with my fingers. Same shape as the uh, E major chord open position down here. The difference being I'm playing the third, second, and first strings. Okay, now hold that shape. Down a whole step. Down a whole step. Down a whole step. Down a whole step. So, at the 11th fret, that's where my index finger is. That's where you start. 9th fret. 7th fret. 5th fret, and 3rd fret. Okay, keep that same shape with your fingers. Add this note here. See my pinky? Playing a D sharp. That's just an octave lower than the D sharp here. Again, just keep that same shape with your fingers. Okay, the intro, slow tempo, sounds something like this. Again. Okay, you notice I'm playing upper two strings. Now I'm playing strings three and two, and four and three. Now I move the chord down a whole step. Down a whole step. Down a whole step. Down a whole step. So again, slow tempo. Okay, the interesting thing about augmented chords is that if you move up or down the neck two whole steps, for example, it's the same chord. I'll move down two whole steps again. Same chord. Okay, that's the intro. Uh, after that, C major, A minor, C major, A minor. And then it goes to a G major. Um, 
the G major I'm playing up here. And then I'm adding a ninth. That's an A note there. First string, fifth fret. Okay, uh, then it kicks right into the verse. And these are the chords played during the verse are C major, A minor. And then it goes to F major. And it's the same thing, it's a F major, and then it's relative minor, which is a D minor. I say same thing because uh, C major, relative minor, which is A minor, and then uh, F major. minor. If uh, barring an F major at the first uh, fret's too much for you, just play it like this. Then it goes back to uh, C major again. Okay, now we get to the chorus, which is G major. So that's a B flat. and then F major, a G major, and then a C major. If you don't like playing the barred G major, you can always play it open position. Okay, the bridge, um, F major, a G major, back to C major, F major, a D major, and a G major. Okay, you notice that chord there, that's the same chord that's used in the intro. So again, the bridge. right into the verse again. I'll play that one more time. F major, G major, C major, A minor, C major, A minor, F major, a D major, a G major, So that's an augmented chord. The difference, G major, and you just sharpen that D. And then it goes right back to the uh, verse. Okay, the uh, lead guitar solo.
Okay, what I'm doing there is I'm just playing on the f first string and the second string. Those are the only two strings I'm playing on. And I start out here, my index finger is on the 12th fret, and my middle finger is on the 13th fret. So I'm playing a C and an E. So from the beginning, One more time. And after you do that twice, back up here again. Let me try to play it through all the way, very slow tempo. Okay, I'm just doing a downward sweeping motion with my pick on the two strings. Okay, at the end of the solo, I don't know what he's doing exactly. He kind of plays around down here. Um, I know that's vague, but um, after the solo, it goes right into the, um, the, I'll call it the bridge. So it sounds something like this. Okay, that's it for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson and thanks for watching. Bye.